We're here for an early and on location edition of the final driver here at MEC Bank Stadium where the process started of removing the artificial turf to get ready for the 2016 season. Of course, the Ravens made the decision to switch to natural grass for next year. And this is a long process. As you can probably expect, it's no small task removing all of this artificial turf. Basically, here's how the process works. They have to cut every single individual strip and then they run it through a machine called the rattlesnake, which shakes out all of the dirt and rubber and sand that's accumulated in there over the years. There's several hundred tons of dirt and rubber in this turf and it all gets removed and then recycled for other fields down the road. Now this is a long process like I said so we talked to head groundskeeper Don Fallot about what the next few months are going to look like here at M&T Bank Stadium. After they roll up the turf then they'll start uh, underneath the field is a uh, crushed rock layer that they've compacted to hold the turf. That crushed rock layer will be excavated out. It's about six or eight inches. It, it varies in depth across the field. They'll excavate all that rock out and get down to the heating pipe system that, that's underneath the field because there's a heating system to keep the field from getting frozen in the wintertime. Then they'll, they'll basically have to hand excavate next to those heating pipes so they don't tear up those heating pipes. After they get all that moved out of here, then they'll come back in what, what we call a root zone that we'll grow the grass into. And they'll level that all out, get it all compacted into place, and then we'll uh, put tur turf on that once it warms up enough to uh, get grass growing out here. Now this is actually the second time that the Ravens have had grass here in this stadium. They did when the stadium first opened, but they had trouble keeping that grass growing, especially in the cold months late in the season. But a lot of things have changed since then. The technology has changed for one, and also the Ravens are going to use a different grass this time around. They're going to use Bermuda grass. And in addition to that, they're also going to have a series of grow lights that they'll be able to set up out here on the field to keep the grass growing throughout the late months in November, December, and of course, hopefully January. Now, making the move to natural grass is something that the Ravens wanted to do and head coach John Harville said that that just feels like Baltimore football. If you look around the division, the other teams have it. The Steelers have it. The Browns have it. The Philadelphia Eagles. The Washington Redskins. All the kind of teams in this region, they go with natural grass and that's something that the Ravens wanted to do. They're excited about that move. Now this is, like I said, just the first step of a long process. We're going to be covering this every step of the way. And by the way, if you want a piece of this grass, we're going to cut up little pieces of that. It's going to be for sale in the team store. So keep an eye for that in the coming weeks and months. That's it for me today from MT Bank Stadium, but thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow on the final drive.